Memorial Day has become the summer is here holiday, but of course there's a lot more to it than that. It's the most solemn of our 11 federal holidays dedicated to the memory of those who died defending this country. Here with more is historian Kenneth C. Davis, author of the popular Don't Know Much History series. Good morning, Kenneth. How are you? Good morning. Always a pleasure to be with you. So talk to us about this holiday. It actually goes back to the Civil War, right? It does. It came out of the ashes of the Civil War. Remember, 600,000, maybe 800,000 dead Americans. Uh, it was announced that a day of remembrance on May 30th, 1868, would be a day to decorate the graves of the fallen soldiers with fresh flowers. Hence, it really began as Decoration Day. Even when I was a kid, that's what we still called it. Eventually, it became Memorial Day, a day, as you said, solemn to remember those who made what Lincoln called the last full measure of devotion. The history is certainly solemn, especially when we hear you talk about the Civil War. I think a lot of people, though, just think of it as a summer holiday. When did that sort of change, and will it change back, you it's think? A, yes, it's not about the picnic or the potato salad, for sure. <laughs> it, it's interesting because by the end of the 19th century into the beginning of the 20th century, this had already become a sort of summer holiday. People had forgotten the Civil War. And it's really with World War I, which began 100 years ago in August 1914, that this, the, the meaning of Memorial Day or Decoration Day came back. And that's after that was when uh, the Tomb of the Unknowns, for instance, was built in Arlington. There is, by the way, a Tomb of the Unknown Civil War soldiers. Many people don't know that. There are 2,000 unidentified bodies under this memorial area at Arlington. Another vestige of the Civil War, by the way, Arlington National Cemetery, created out of land taken from Robert E. Lee, the yeah. Confederate general who led the Army of Northern Virginia. So a lot of connections to the Civil War in Memorial Day. That term Decoration Day, which preceded Memorial Day, came out of people laying flowers on graves, correct, after that, the Civil War. There, there was a lot of sort of bitterness after the Civil War about how to honor the dead, wasn't there? That, that's right. You know, when we first look at the proclamation, and this wasn't a federal holiday or a national holiday, it was really a proclamation made by a, a fraternal organization, the Grand Army of the Republic. And they were really recognizing those who had died fighting what they called the rebellion. So this was for a long time seen as a Union holiday or a Northern holiday. And many Confederate states, former Confederate Confederate States set up their own memorial or decoration days, and seven, I believe, still have a separate Confederate decoration day. Wow. So there was tremendous bitterness for a long time. In fact, there are records that Confederate families were actually kept out of Arlington on May 30th, which was the original date of Memorial Day. It was changed in 1968 to become one of the Monday holidays. I was going to say, I mean, you mentioned that bitterness. When you change a holiday like this and you change the day that we're going to observe it on, there must have been a lot of irritation and frustration. A lot of people have felt that that somehow had an impact on Memorial Days being less uh, significant than it used to be. A lot of it has to do also with Vietnam. I remember during the Vietnam era, people didn't, because there was so, so much antagonism towards the military and towards the war, Memorial Day was really pushed to the side and it almost took the, the Gulf War in 1991 to bring it back as a, as a day that more Americans recognize. And now today, a lot of people confuse it with Veterans Day also. What's the difference? Memorial Day is very specific. We are honoring those who gave the full, last full measure of devotion, who, who made the ultimate sacrifice in service to the country. World War I was also a turning point in this, in this holiday, in this moment. What, what happened then? Well, remember that 100,000 Americans died in World War I in a very short period of time. We, we weren't involved in the war from the beginning. But it was after that, with this tremendous loss, that people began to recognize we should have a day to honor not just the Civil War soldiers, which Decoration Day had been, but all those who have given their lives going back to the American Revolution. So the idea was expanded, and it was after World War I that the Tomb of the Unknowns was first built in Arlington. Fascinating. Every time you visit, I'm reminded why your book is called Don't Know Much, because it always reminds me how much I don't <laughs> how know. How much you don't Thank know. You. Well, I like to think that history is fun, but this is one of the weekends and one of the days that's not so much fun but important to remember. Exactly right. Kenneth C. Davis, thanks so much for being Thank with us you. this morning.